Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and I'm still on that Atari Jaguar roll guys, it's still a rolling but this time guys we're going to be taking a look at what is considered to be three of the best games on the Atari Jaguar. We're going to be starting with the ultimate game on the Atari Jaguar guys, one that I've never heard anything negative about whatsoever, everybody seems to love this game. And it fetches quite a price these days. In fact, I saw a copy of it in Tunbridge as CEX. And it was a uh, loose cart, guys, for 75 nicker. 75 quid, guys. That's freaking unbelievable. You can pay up to 150 for it. Fully boxed mint. It's Alien vs Predator. What a gorgeous flipping game it is if you take a chance on it, though, guys. Beautiful. It's got just enough horror to it to be considered a survival horror game. And it is, of course, a fantastic first-person shooter. Now, at the beginning, you walk around a bit of a maze, just searching and searching and searching for certain doors. So I'm going to cut a little bit out of that, because that gets a bit boring. Um, and then we'll get more to the action. And then, guys, we're going to jump over to another I consider to be a bit of a doozy. It's a Marmite game, guys. You either love it or hate it. And a lot of people seem to really hate it. It's Doom. Yeah, the Atari Jaguar version of Doom, guys. Now, a lot of people have had negative things to say about it because of the lack of music. Um, they don't think there's as many elements in there. But I actually think it's a pretty damn good version. Yeah, it's annoying the music's missing and all that, yeah. But I think it's all right. And I want to show you just how good it actually really is. And then, guys, lastly, we're going to jump onto the fantastic Wolfenstein 3D. Again, one of the best versions of Wolfenstein I think you will ever find. It is brilliant. It is oh, equal to, in my opinion, the 3DO version. I love that version as well. I think both of these are fantastic. So yes, guys, they might all be expensive games because they're not cheap, any of them. I mean, Wolfenstein will cost you 50 quid. Doom will cost you... Mm, Boxed in not mint condition, about 45 quid. And then, of course, Alien vs. Predator is just mental. Oh, but yeah, would you like to join me for free? Fantastic titles. And probably the best titles on the Atari. Shiagiwa. Right. Back in a sec, guys, as we start this ball a rolling. Hey, here we go guys with the first iconic game from the Jag. Aliens vs Predator. They are the fantastic Alien vs Predator icon. And then we're going to the little line menu there. You see that character? Restore game. High scores and credits. So yeah, here you go guys. That's where you select your character. You can play either as the alien, the predator, or your marine. Let's go with the marine, shall we? There's your, uh, your mission and who you are. He was uh, <laughs> done for striking an officer. Wow. Right, well. Let's get going here, shall we? Right, what are we going here? Oh, just one of these. Some chamber things there. Yeah. So, we are actually in prison, as you can see.
Oh, yeah, also has a nice weapon. Another dead soldier. That's where we started off. Let's go down here. Just there again. Okay. Straight down. Oh, ready pack. Do we get that? No, because we don't need it at the moment, of course. Here you are, literally just walking around endlessly. You kind of stumble across from where you want to be in the end. As you open all the gates up. Mm hmm. Another one open. Have a bit of action there, do I? Right. Let's see where we're going from here then. Right, there's one. It's a leading absolutely nowhere. Hmm. Aha, here we go, guys. Nice one. See, you think you're just walking around endlessly, but you do get to a certain point where you can get through. All right, now we're out here. Hmm. Let's go back in for a minute. See if we missed anything at all. Doesn't look like it, no. Okay, then. And we'll go back out and I 
Now we're walking around aimlessly again. <laughs> there you go, we need the mini pack now. Nice one. Yes, guys, what a fantastic game. I mean, I seem to be just going around aimlessly, like I said, but that is not necessarily what's going to happen to you, of course. Not anywhere else to go here. Oh, yes, look at that. Right behind here. Well, there's the next lot. Can I hear some way, you sods? Oh, okay, there's another door there. Hmm. Right, we're into this area now. Whoa, look at that. Big sneaks up on you, isn't it? Come on, that one. Any more? Any more want to get me? No. Where are you all, you buggers? Shotgun, yeah. Oh, here it comes up. game over. That's fair enough, that's 10 minutes. Right, back with the next gem. Where we go guys, we're doomed. Demo. Right in with the demo. Right, should we play this thing? Here we go. Game mode, single. Difficulty. Hurt me. Plenty. Oh dear. Nope, oh, there we go. Nightmare, no. Back. Hurt me plenty. Not too rough, that'll do. Right, well, here we go, guys. It was fantastic to get Doom on here. So here we go, there's one. Oh, yeah, bugger. Although some people don't consider it to be a particularly good version, I quite like it. Yeah, it's got a lot of elements missing. Like music. things right here we go again get back around there Quick. 
Somebody waiting to kill me out there, look. Got him. Excellent. I do like the little bowling. It's a fun. Oh, did I get one? I did, it was by accident. Don't suppose I did. Oh, where is he? Oh, yeah. I don't want to pause it. Loading. So yeah, guys, this I think it's a pretty competent version of it. I like it. I think it's pretty damn good. There it is. Oh, cool. Look, they're all getting in there, ain't they? Any more? Is that it? Yeah, I, I don't mind it at all. Yeah, like I said, guys, it's got a few bits and bobs missing. Can't open that door. Oh dear. Oh, okay. So I'm going to get in. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, they got me. But that's a good place to stop, guys. Because we've got one more to look at. Right, back with the next absolute gem for the Jag. Here we go, guys, with Wolfenstein 3D. The last one of the gems here. Oh, 
Ну. Fantastic version, I can tell you that guys, that's for sure. Oh no, so oh, oh. there we go. Okay. Another one right there somewhere, there we go. Oh yeah. Okay, oh, oh, yeah. Where else to go here? No, there's not. I know you're hiding here somewhere else, but... Oh, yeah. Nope. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they got me again. Oh, they got me again. Oh, they got me again. Sometimes you've got hidden bits, guys, so you've got to watch out for that behind pictures and things like that. Obviously, there doesn't seem to be much here. But it can be very tricky. Nothing behind us and that. This is a good version of the thing. Oh, that's interesting. Aha, I Oh my gosh, I'm not going to have to stay. I'm not just going to have to go to this. I'm going Oh, where's this one? Oh, you son. Oh, you kids. Oh, well. Here we go, guys. A look at uh, another fantastic gem on the Jag. Wow. All three of those are brilliant, guys. And if there's one reason to own the Jag, it's to get these versions. Ooh, I'm back with my final thoughts. Right, what did you think then, guys? 
starting with Alien and versus Predator. Is it worth all that hype, guys? I certainly think it is. I think it's definitely worth all that hype. Just being able to oh, choose from all those characters, guys. You can be a Marine, you can be a Predator, you can be an Alien. I think that's fantastic already, where you can play as a different... Two evils and a goody, goody, goody. Um, yeah, I think that's fantastic. It is gritty, it is dark, and it is pretty damn horrifying as you go along, guys, because you're always waiting for the buggers to come up and get you. I think it is awesome, and it is definitely the best game on the Atari Jaguar. And that is why it's so expensive, guys. Um, everybody wants it, everybody loves it. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's beautiful. But yeah, let me know what you think. Then we went on to Doom, guys, didn't we? Now, Doom is a Marmite game on the Atari Jaguar, like I said earlier. People have certain gripes with it, really, really big gripes with it. Now, I think it flows pretty bloody well. Um, I'm not really missing those elements, guys. Certain switches are missing and things like that. And yeah, lack of music and what have you. But I still think it's a bloody good version of Doom. And I play it a lot to this day, guys. I think it's fantastic. And like I said, it's not as expensive. A boxed, half-decent version will cost you about 45 to 50 quid. So again, guys, comment below. What did you think of this version of Doom? Then lastly, we looked at Wolfenstein 3D. Now that one, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And nobody will ever change my mind. I think it's as brilliant as my other favourite version of it on the 3DO. I think both versions are fantastic and the Atari Jaguar one is gorgeous. It really is. Come on. It is fantastic. Um, nothing missing from it, guys. Nothing missing from it at all. Um, it's got the music. It's got all the action in there. Killing all them damn Germans. Yeah, good job. Uh, yeah. They don't turn around and spot me playing it, isn't it? Otherwise they'd be shooting me. But yes, anyway, I think that version's fantastic. But again, guys, what do you think of this version? <sighs> there you go, guys. Three fantastic games on the flipping Atari Jaguar. Big franchises. Can't get any bigger, can you, than Alien vs. Predator, Doom, and Wolfenstein. I mean, Jesus, it just goes to show that. These people are saying, oh, there's only crap on the... Atari Jaguar, they got it very wrong guys, there's actually some bloody big franchises on there. And they might only have had 80 games released to it, but come on. Uh, well, no, not 80. 50 officially, of course. If you count all the ones that came out after, that were done, you know, by certain companies, then it's 80. But yeah, officially 50 and 13 on the Jaguar CD. But, those are three titles every Atari Jaguar owner would like in their collection or have in their collection so you have to have deep pockets to get them all of course i mean you're talking well over 200 quid to get them all so yeah there you go guys another atari jaguar video done and dusted oh, and what a doozy it was playing those three beauties right and with that guys i'm gonna say the usual if you're not subbed already they drop me a sub Give me a thumb, your thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to be informed of any upcoming videos. And again, guys, do you love emulation? Because if you do, I've got the group for you over on Facebook. It is the Retro Emulation Fan Group. Brilliant place, guys, for anything to do with emulation. Handhelds, home systems, whatever. We have reviews of consoles. We have reviews of custom firmware. We have tech help videos and of course just plain simple wonderful banter with the admin team and other members so yeah if you love emulation guys just head over to facebook and join us on the retro emulation fan group then guys i also have my uk kraut gaming facebook page as well guys where we cover everything gaming retro to modern loads of videos on there for you to watch guys because other youtubers are putting their videos up there as well so lots for you to get on with. And again, guys, lots of like-minded people. Plenty of banter galore. Anything to do with gaming. So yeah, head over to Facebook, guys. Look up UK Crowd Gaming, all lowercase, and join. And then, guys, lastly, I have a Patreon. It is linked to below. If 
you'd like to head over to Patreon and watch my video on why I set it up in the first place. And then you can uh, decide if you're going to join me on my Patreon journey. And with that, guys, I'm going to say off the in. Juice! And goodbye, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.